I am making this kit ukulele, but I have a problem. I need to um, glue in the bridge and there are no instructions. Hmm, tricky. So I need to use everyone's favourite subject, mathematics, to solve the problem. This is going to be a geeky one. So this is... Um, an almost finished, um, I think it's an Amun one, a uh, tenor ukulele kit. Um, these are fairly inexpensive, these can be bought on Amazon or in a shop maybe, if you can go to shops. Um, and they come without instructions to, you know, to give you the extra challenge, right? Why would they make life easy for you when you could just, you know, guess how to put it together? Which is fine, it is actually fine, but the, the one piece of information it would be really helpful that they furnish you with is where to put the bridge right um now I've, i mean this this is just a piece of paper template that i've made on top of it they, they, they don't give you this obviously um the sound hole is there but that means you've got all of that potentially space um to sort of try and figure out where to put the bridge okay and as you can see i reckon i've kind of worked it out and, and I've cut the hole for it in, in, in the template. Um, but because oh yeah, there were no instructions, I needed to figure out where to put the bridge. Um, and I got to that answer using basically, yeah, just actually very, very simple mathematics. However, it's what happened is, you know, I, I had an idea of how to do it. I checked th that hypothesis so to speak on a number of other instruments and the mathematics is just perfect so we're going to be talking about sort of guitars well stringed instruments we're going to be talking about scale length we've got a spreadsheet um we're going to do some really simple mathematics um not for everyone um, but if you're sort of interested in like making instruments, uh, and I realize a lot of you that, are, that make instruments have got all this figured out and you know exactly what you're doing. Um, but I don't know what I'm doing, but the realization of how to, how to sort of set up the measurements was like really eye opening. It was a real kind of penny drop moment. So I thought I would share that with you. Um, cause maybe that's helpful. Um, all right, let's look at some spreadsheets. Awesome. Alrighty, so this is the problem. We have one tenor ukulele. Um, literally a couple of days ago I glued the neck on. So the next problem to tackle is I've got one bridge. Um, I have to place that bridge um, in the correct position with respect to, to the neck. Sound holes, sound holes there, sound holes in there somewhere. Um, and as my paper template alludes to, I have calculated <laughs> where this bridge should be. Um, but obviously I've got no instructions in the box, so there's nothing telling me um, when, you, when you buy this particular kit where to put where to put this, right? Is it there? 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 Obviously it's not, <laughs> obviously it's not there. Um, but, you know, it could, you know, the sound holes, sound holes about there. So, you know, is it there, is it there, is it there, is it there? Um, so that's the problem, that's the problem. Um, but we can solve that problem using just good mathematics. Um, and so th there's like a long way <laughs> of, of getting that answer, which I've basically gone through today. And there's actually a much shorter way to do it. Um, so let's get into it. So when you buy a guitar, especially when you buy a new guitar, you may see that they, they state what the scale length is. And basically what that value is, it's the value from the nut here. So where the string meets the nut to the bridge here. So it's, it's the, this, so it's this, it's, it's, it's 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 that distance okay and what one can do is one can literally you know get a get a big old ruler and and measure it right um okay so far so boring um but 
also we can actually use that scale length to work out exactly um, where a bridge should go in my case in my tenor ukulele um, yeah and it's all to do with good old-fashioned mathematics so what we can do on any, on and this works for any instrument as I'll demonstrate we can find the point at which the, uh, any of the strings uh, is is essentially half as long as the full string uh, and that is the 12th fret um, I'm just trying to work out the 12th fret on this classical guitar so I don't play it very often so we've got the low E and then we've got the 12th uh, fret which we know will be one octave higher than the open string right Oops, sorry Oops. And obviously that's the same for any string so what we can actually do is we can actually measure the distance from the nut to the 12th string multiply that by two and that will give you your scale length um, obviously you can measure the whole thing but often the bridge will be set up um, with some you know with some subtle um, variations to to really get accurate intonation um, I don't know whether you really see uh, yeah I mean I don't know whether you can the camera's picking it up but this plastic I'm sure it's plastic um, bridge is actually not uh, completely uh, sort of straight to the strings actually at an angle okay so therefore if you're so 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 this distance from the nut to the 12th fret will be will be you know will always be the same well it will be the same for any of the strings but the distance from the 12th fret there to the bridge will be subtly different so that's why I say to, to calculate the scale length what you can just do is measure from the nut to the 12th string uh, multiply by two and Bob's your uncle that is your scale length so hypothesis one I was testing the 12th fret on any instrument will be the halfway point between the nut and the bridge hypothesis number one hypothesis number two is the if I take that measurement from the nut to the 12th fret multiply it by two that should give me the scale length uh, the, like the official scale length of any guitar which I can compare to like the internet some not some 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 source of knowledge about what scale lengths are so testing two things let's get the spreadsheet okay so I got a load of different guitars I measured from the nut to the 12th fret and my measurements are in millimeters then I measured from the 12th fret to the bridge and I did both the highest pitched string and the lowest pitched string I then calculated the scale length based on this column multiplied by two I then converted that number to inches and then compared that to a published uh, scale length dependent on what that style of guitar is and as I allude to the maths works out perfectly so let's just go through them so this is a 335 style guitar calculated scale length 24.72 inches and the official scale length of this guitar is 24.75 so yeah and so so this is me actually measuring it this is from the literature perfect strat style guitar calculated scale length 25.51 official scale length 25.5 perfect super strat style again same as the strat measured at 25.51 official 25.5 uh ibanez double cut style calculated 24.72 actual published 24.7 perfect Les Paul style uh, 24.72 measured 24.75 actual perfect 
Uh, PRS, the PRS is an interesting one because they kind of they kind of go for this in between value, in between a Strat and a Les Paul. And my values there are a little bit off. Uh, if you round up, though, you know you're bang on twenty five. Uh, Tele measured at 25.43. So, yeah, perfect. Uh, I've been a seven stream. So, now, yeah, this is the furthest one. And so this is like if you go to literature for a seven string, you get this value. But actually, I then subsequently looked. I'm looking at an older presentation here. But actually, this is this particular model, the 7321 is a standard uh, strat scale length so it's 25.5 so it's perfect this works for bass guitars so if you look for a pj bass literature says 34 inches measured at 33.94 perfect uh this is a baritone ukulele uh go to literature 19 so this is this so uh, this is the, the furthest one off compared to what i measure versus um sort of the literature not 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 very far uh my little uh charity shop ukulele um yeah official scalings 13 inches measured at 13.3 so again like this yeah this w this works for any guitar type instrument brilliant mathematics isn't it good so can i use this information to give me the information i need so I measured that distance on my tenor ukulele kit that I'm building as 216 millimeters. That gives me a calculated scale length of two, three, four, four, three, two millimeters, which converts to 17 inches and bang, exactly as the published scale length goes. Um, so yeah, awesome. And yeah, so this is from the Thoman, Thoman, Thoman website, scale length 43 centimetres, 430 millimetres, 17 inches. Boom, boom, perfect, perfect. So how does this information help us um, position our bridge on our sort of uh, on our little kit? Well, what we can do is we can measure the distance from, I mean, there's no nut installed, but we can see where the nut would be since where the end of the fretboard is. Um, we can measure that distance to the 12th fret. We can do that 200 and what is that? Uh, the measurement in millimeters is about 215 millimeters or it is about eight and a half inches. Okay. So now, because we have that value, we've got that value as well. So hopefully, you can see my eight and a half inches. Well, okay, not not where, where I've done my template is not not quite eight and a half inches. Um, might be more accurate. What did I say? Two hundred and sixteen. Ah, oh, well, yes, okay. So it's not that simple. Two hundred and sixteen. Yeah, is somewhere in the middle. Right. So why doesn't this cutout match the exact value? Okay. The reason is if we look at the bridge, we know it goes this way because the strings um, thread in here. So no, it sits that way, not that way. But obviously there's, a, there's, there's the bridge sits in this little notch here. Um, and there's, and that, that, get, that, that piece of wood uh, is four millimeters. So obviously we know that, that line there, the fr front of this piece of you know the wood that's holding the bridge, actually has to uh, compensate. Uh, yeah, and actually you can just see. You just move the camera in. Do, 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 do. Yeah, you can see that mark there. Where's my pointer? Oh, I've lost my pointer. There we go. You can see actually that mark there, which was the actual um, place where the bridge should be. And therefore, you know, minus that bit of material there, which gives me that line there. So, th so yeah, so there we go. 
that is where I need to glue my bridge. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So obviously the, <laughs> the quick way to, to calculate that is just go online and, and say, what is the scale length of a tenor ukulele? <laughs> and it'll tell you it's uh, 15 inches off the top of my head. And then you just need to go, okay, great. Um, so I just need to measure from there to there, the scale length and Bob's your uncle. That's a quick way of doing it. But I just thought it was interesting how the maths kind of works out absolutely perfectly for any instrument. So how can I use this newfound mathematical knowledge of uh, scale length? Well, if you've got a guitar neck that you just sort of bought cheaply <laughs> uh, from somewhere, uh, I mean, this is clearly a, a strapped kind of of neck right um but essentially if you you know know that the measurement from the nut to the 12th fret you just need to know what that that measurement is and then you can basically just stick that neck on anything like a pl that plank of wood and you'll know that 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 the distance from the nut to the 12th fret that's the same distance of where you're going to put the bridge on whatever body you uh you choose right um yeah so that means you can basically you know make a guitar out of anything you know i could stick this neck neck to um my modular synth down there and make some kind of guitar synth thing um which is a stupid idea but or i could you know i could i could <laughs> i could stick that to a table and make a make a guitar out of a table um and you know and and the intonation would be would be fine as long as you you know you you did you did to sort of to sort of that 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 that, that measurement and and just calculated it to, to to where the bridge should be so that's what you can do with that information um anyway um bit of a longer boring one today uh no no synthesizers uh in this one but i just thought um it was it was just sort of sort of, sort of yeah when 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 you work something out and don't just sort of read it and go do this, but when you when you work it out uh, and and you sort of and that sort of penny drop moment, I thought that was worth sharing. Anyway, cheers, folks. Take care. Mm -hmm.